how gold it's posted on Instagram or you're going to today stick around because I'm going to show you the reveal of the pogo nips that I've made I've done a pogo nip for every season so let's get the party started with a cheeky glass of Prosecco cheers everybody happy pogo party <laughs> the Gemini Stitcher and welcome to my YouTube channel and this is Esme, one of my mini schnauzers. She's called the Black Ninja because she's very naughty. So today is the big reveal of our pogo nips. I've got myself a cheeky glass of Prosecco. Oh that's nice to drink while I'm chatting to you. It has been a roller coaster month, so much fun, and I cannot believe that so many of you have been getting involved. It's been fabulous. For me, sitting in front of the TV one night, I think scrolling through patterns on the fold line and deciding I wanted to make a pogo on it, and then wondering if any other vloggers would want to do it with me putting it in the vlogger group and the response from the vloggers was phenomenal and it just snowballed from there so that we've ended up with our pogo knit party on the 29th of February lots of lovely prizes and hopefully lots of lovely pogo nips on YouTube and Instagram today fingers crossed if nobody posts anything I'll just have to keep all the prizes for myself won't I there's a plan. There's a plan there, Esme. So what have ha what so what have I been making? Well, if you watch me, you know I'm a crazy sewist and I would never just make one pogo nip. I have the whole of February to think about these and make them up. So I've ended up making a pogo nip for every season and then a little add-on at the end. You may have already seen it, the hubster snuck in and got one as well. So let's start with the first one that I made. So here we are. This is the first pogo nip I made and it was my wearable twirl. And I've decided that this one is my early spring Pogo on it. It's in a fleece fabric, popping bright pink to bring on the nice weather and brighten things up after all the dull winter that we've gone through. And because it was a toile, I didn't put the welt pockets in the front. Now I made a size small. I'm a 36 chest, five foot, nothing short. So I didn't shorten it because the pogo nip is quite a short pattern so I left it the length that it was and I decided not to put the welt pockets in because this was for sizing purposes but it came out so well and so wearable that I've been wearing it loads. I went on the wonk with the checks on the top and we'll just swizz reet around and then went standard at the back And then I put three press studs at the front. So it's fine. It's a good size, perfect for me. So if you are taller than five foot, I would suggest you need to lengthen it because it is very cropped. Unless you want it very cropped and then it's fine. But I wanted mine to be a bit lower than my hips. If you're not, well, sit on my hips, my widest part. Yeah, so I didn't put the welt pockets in and I've got to be honest, I like a good pocket so I missed the pockets in this one. So there we go, that's my early spring pogo nip. So the next one is the spring summer one. I'll just do a quick change on Rita and then I'll be back. Back. So, spring summer 
pogo knit in white really practical that isn't it but the way i've got around it is i thought about the areas that i would get dirty and i thought round my neck makeup will rub off onto the white fabric and that is a mare to get out so i've done that in a contrast in my mushroom fabric from my stash it's all french terry then the sleeves i thought yeah they're gonna get dirty so i've done those completely in the mushrooms and then the bottom half of the pockets but then the outer of the pockets i've done in white which is a bit of a risk i know and i did contemplate changing it for the mushroom fabric but to be quite honest i ran out of time so it is what it is i'll see how i get on with it i have got some of the mushroom fabric and if this gets dirty i can always unpick it a bit and replace it let's wish you round three and then at the back where there's less chance of me getting things spilt down it i've done it in white so you'll notice that it again has not got the welt pockets in because this is the last one that i made i only finished it two days ago and i was all well pocketed out if i'm honest and i fancied something a bit different so i've just cobbled together my own kangaroo pocket nice and big great for sticking my hands in if the wind gets up on the beach which it will do when i go down to anglesey this is going to be perfect keep the hands warm rub them together in that kangaroo pocket loving it so that's the spring summer version i've not said but in all of mine i have not put the optional back pocket on didn't like the idea of it would never use it the idea is you fold it up and pack it away never gonna happen with me so if i take this off i'll tie it around my waist and carry on like that i'm not going to then spend 10 15 minutes hang on a minute love i just need to pack my pogo nip away not going to happen so there's no back pockets on any of mine so this fabric i got the mushroom fabric from flamingo fabrics and the white french terry i got from pound fabrics so what do we think white mushroom pogo knit i wonder if they're magic mushrooms that'd be great wouldn't it right let's move on to the autumn pogo nip backing them in this is hard work cheers girls oh, that is very good right so autumn pogo knit popping some colour or what this is the pogo knit that i had in mind as the one that i was making when i first launched it or thought about it back late january so the fabric is from guthrie and garnet it's a knit fabric and it was from a kit but i didn't like the pattern when it came so i've snaffled the fabric and used it for my pogo knit i have put the welt pockets in if you've made yours they were fun weren't they but it's a skill that we've all got now that we didn't have before so if you've made the pogo knit well done on your welts so i've played around with the direction of the zigzag pattern gone vertical at the top and then horizontal at the bottom vertical on the sleeves come on Reed, give us a twirl and then horizontal at the back the welt pocket opening and the placket and collar i've used some denim fabric from my stash and i've all i've already made some of the eleanor jeggings in that fabric so those together are going to look stunning now i know autumn can be quite warm 
but I just thought this is the autumn one because it's got the yellows in. It's a little bit warmer. We're starting to get snuggly, but hopefully it's not started snowing and raining yet. So the last one, well, we'll show the hosters at the end. The last one that's mine is my winter pogo. So come on, Ray, get changed. Let's show them what it's all about. So here we go, my final pogo nip pullover. I've made it in a animal print soft shell fabric for the winter, which has got a nice fleecy lining on the inside. So what do we think? It's all been done in soft shell. The welt pockets were an absolute mare to do in this fabric because it does not press. You've got to be careful with it so it doesn't melt on your iron. But equally, it needs a lot of pressing and a lot of heat for it to press. So, yeah, head scratching or what. But I'm pleased with how it's turned out. Give us the twirl, Rick. And I thought this is the good one for the horrible snowy winter weather when it's not actually raining or snowing, but it has been and it's freezing and easing. This party's going well, isn't it? So that's my fourth and final me made pogo nip. Now, the last one I'm going to show you, some of you have already seen before, it's the one that I made for the Hubster because the pogo nip is great for men and women. I made him a size medium because he's a bit of a little action man. He's not very big. So medium fitted him, I lengthened it by 6 inches, do you know what, I just need to go and get Rita in it don't I, and then you can see, give me a sec. Here we go, the lovely sludge green pogo nip, that isn't a pogo nip, and the reason is I've lengthened it by 6 inches, it's got no elastic, but I'll put the narrow waistband on just to cinch things in a little bit. And it's got breast pocket because it's his dog walking coat and he needs two bags in a breast pocket. Why you can't put them in these pockets? The lovely welt pockets, I don't know. But he was insistent, he needed that pocket. So there we go. So now you've mastered the pogo nip, you can make one for the better half in your life <laughs> or not because believe you me it was oh I want it a bit longer oh I need a pocket it wasn't a quick make by any stretch but I did it and I know how to do it now for him so yeah maybe I'll make him one in a more summery colour when the weather warms up, we will see. So I'm off now to finish my bubbles. I hope you're posting your pogo nips today over on Instagram. You need to use the hashtag pogo nip party and you need to chag, tag, chag, tag me in at Gemini underscore stitches. And then I don't miss them. You can post today until midnight UK time. And then Friday I'll be totting them all up. Now, I also go down to Anglesey on Friday. I'm going to do the totting up and do the draw, record the draw before I go and do a vlog. I'm hoping to do a little slideshow or montage of some if not all of the entries over on instagram so i hope you don't mind if i pop your pick up on he on here on monday because i'm going to be announcing the, the winners on youtube on this channel 
on Monday morning at 8am. So obviously I won't be doing it live, I won't have done it there, I will have recorded it on Friday but I'm scheduling it in for Monday instead of my Monday make some plans. Anyway, before I go I just want to say a thank you to everybody who's taken part Thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the vloggers who have supported me and taken part in this party because when I first had the idea I didn't think anybody would be interested and it will be me, my pogo nips and a glass of bubbles. But if you've made one, well done. Get yourself a stiff drink because you deserve it after making those welt pockets, let's be honest. Be proud of yourself whether you win one of the prizes or not. You've learned something. And that's what I was hoping everybody would get out of this challenge. To learn a skill. And welt pockets ain't easy, are they? I'm going to go now. But before I do, I've just recorded a little catwalk for you in my pogo nips. So hang around if you want to watch that. And I'm going to say... Take care, happy sewing and good luck in the draw.